Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hello, I am Genevieve and if you're not new here, welcome back. Honestly, let's just get straight into the video because I am pumped and ready to go. Like, look at my eye. I even kind of did my hair today. I got some nice jewelry on. Mm -hmm -hmm. So today, as you saw in the title, we're going to be dyeing an acrylic wig or synthetic wig, whatever you want to call it. So let's start on what you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a wig. I'm using like pretty much white but obviously you can also use one that is a lot more blonde but because of the character we're going to be using this wig for I need the other half to be silver so yeah we're only going to be dyeing half of this wig but I mean the same rules apply just do the whole head yes science 99% alcohol you can use 70% alcohol but I'm using 99% because that's just kind of what I have and you're going to need some sharpies and you're going to need a spray bottle and some gloves Let's get to it, shall we? So the character I'm using this wig for is a gender-bent Todoroki from My Hero Academia. So I'm only going to be dyeing half of the wig. So first of all, we're going to split this in half. Make sure you know which half you're dyeing. Because you can't really take it back if you actually definitely put it on the wrong side. Alright, so once you've got your half section like that, you're going to need to put gel on that side of the hair. This is just because the alcohol doesn't stick to the gel. It's a good way to prevent, you know, your red getting on your white. Once you put that gel on, wrap it in a layer of cling film, and we're ready to start dyeing. If you're dyeing a lace front wig like I am, uh, make sure you also cover the lace in gel. Because like I said, it's protection, it covers from the inks and stuff. Make sure on the side that you're dying not to go too far in because if you get it on that front line of hair, it's not going to dye that part of hair and you're just going to have like a white outline of where the dye didn't take. Speaking of, here's how to make the dye. So what you're going to want to do is get some pliers and take apart the sharpie. So you're going to be taking the top ink part out and just putting that into the bottle. Then using the pliers, you're going to try and pry out the ink cartridge from the middle. You might want to use gloves for this bit, but I just didn't really have any around me, so I, just, I didn't bother. Once you've gotten that middle ink part out, very, very carefully, take some scissors or an X-Acto knife or anything. I'd probably prefer an X-Acto knife, but again, didn't have one. You're gonna be cutting open the tube. This allows the ink to, like, disperse easier. You know, you know? As you can tell, it got a little bit messy and I probably should have had some gloves, so screw my uh, little warning pre-note. Use gloves. It's, it's no longer to your discretion. It's it's compulsory. It's a step. Get some gloves. Then you're going to be pouring your alcohol in. Like I said, I'm using isopropyl alcohol, which is 99%, but I have seen other videos where they use 70 and apparently it works just as well. So, you know, try your best. Do what you do with what you have. As long as it's alcohol-based, it'll work because that's what Sharpies are. They're alcohol-based. I ended up using like half a liter, but you probably do not need this much. I just wanted to make sure I had plenty because I didn't want to get through half the wig and then realize I didn't have enough dye. You're also going to want to prep this a day in advance. I've actually let mine to sit for two days because the longer you sit, the more it's going to absorb into the alcohol. So, you know, depends how dark you want it. Just let it do its thing, boo. So what we're going to do is move to a well-ventilated area. Trust me, I've tried doing this inside, it's not a wise step. You don't want to be inhaling all that fumes and chemicals and shit, it's just not good for your body. So as you can see, I've got a mask on to help me not to breathe in all of these chemicals and gases and things like that. And I am outside in the lovely outdoors so we have perfect ventilation. Now all you're going to do is start spraying. You're going to spritz and spray all over that side of the wig. Make sure to move the hair around because you want to make sure you're not just you know, spray in the top layer. You gotta get all up in that hair. And honestly, at this point, too much is never enough. You don't wanna wait till it dries and then realize you've missed a bunch of spots. So just go ham and get in there, do it. If you're using a wig head like I am, make sure you cover it. Mine is covered in glad wrap. So, you know, it's just nice not to stain all your stuff. Then once you've covered all the hair, you're gonna leave it and let all the alcohol evaporate so the color sticks to the fibers. And this is the finished wig. I'm super stoked with how it came out. I feel like such a little anime character. Oh, it's so good. Also, guess what came in the mail today? I am obsessed. And obviously it came in perfect time for me to do this video. It says plus ultra on the back of my hair academia. Your girl could never be happier. Yeah, here are the results. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to tune in on Saturday to get my vlog of this week. And if you did like this video, make sure to subscribe. And I'd see you in the next video. Peace.